All right, so we're on a 2011 Dodge Ram 1500. And I was just going to show you a couple things that you can do with the PCM in special functions on this Autel scanner. So let's say you needed to change the PCM. And you're not sure if this scanner will do that. The short answer is yes, it, it, it will. When you go in here to special functions, if you're putting in a used PCM, uh, you can check the PCM odometer, not only check it, but this is also where you enter the uh, the new mileage. And it'll walk you through it. This will uh, write what the mileage, what, what you want the mileage to be. Uh, you select here miles or kilometers. Of course, we'd go miles. Uh, it wants to know if the uh, odometer reading is between this mileage. Now, on this particular car, that's where it's getting that mileage from. So, we're not going to write the mileage to this car. This is just a demonstration to show you what you would do. Now, if this was a different PCM, obviously the mileage would be off. The mileage would not match what's on the, uh, the actual vehicle. It would match whatever car the PCM came out of. So, in most cases, you would probably select no, and then you'd enter the new mileage that you'd want. Uh, but it will walk you through it, and it will allow you to set the, the, uh, the mileage that the PCM needs to have. So we're going to go ahead and escape out of this. I just wanted to kind of show you that this will walk you through that. Um, now, the next thing would be the VIN. And there's two different VIN options here in Special Functions. You got one down here that says Set VIN. Another one up here that says Check PCM VIN. Now, again, if you've got a used PCM, you'd go to this Check VIN. And it's not just going to check it, but it is going to also allow you to write a new VIN to this PCU. PCM. PCU is going to park on an airplane. So, right here it says that the, the VIN's valid. Uh, and it is. This is the correct VIN for this vehicle. Uh, so I would hit OK. If I wanted to change it, I would hit OK. Uh, I don't want to change it, so I'm going to hit uh, Cancel. But this would allow me to set the proper VIN on this PCM, which they consider a, you know, not a new PCM. And the reason that's significant is because if you're putting in a new PCM, I'm going to cancel out of this, you're going to go down here to this option, Set VIN. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to read and write the new the VIN to a new PCU. Uh, and, yeah, this function only supports new ECU to write VIN. So the old ECU, or what I'm calling a PCU, uh, PCM, uh, you, you're not going to be able to use this particular function on a PCM that's already in the car or one that you've gotten, say, from a salvage yard. So keep that in mind. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll go ahead and hit OK to this just to see what the next screen is. The VIN is OK. OK to change the VIN. Press Cancel to exit. So this is the proper VIN for this car, so I'm going to hit uh, Cancel. Uh, but if this is a new PCM that I was, say, putting in this vehicle, then I would go ahead and hit OK and change it. Now, you can also, there's also an option to reset the memory. Here's the reasons why you may want to do that. But yeah, that was just a short. I just wanted to show if you if you're changing a PCM, this scanner will allow you to do that. So let's say that uh, you wanted to either use a PCM that you bought off eBay or that you got from a from a salvage yard, or you bought brand new. 
whatever the scenario, you can do it with this scan tool. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you know, if you're if you're working on a vehicle on, a, on one of these Dodge Rams and you need to put a PCM in, don't be afraid to do it. All right, and that is all I wanted to show on this.